Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today we're going to look at how we can digitally blend a single exposure so that we end up with a nicely balanced image with controlled highlights and shadows. Naturally it's always better and cleaner to use multiple exposures in digital blending but it is possible to do it with a single exposure depending on the scene and the quality of the sensor that you have in your camera. And there are lots of different ways to digitally blend a single exposure, I'm just going to show you one. Now often in Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom we have our exposures and we can just bring down the highlights and bring up the shadows to create a, a balanced image. In this photo though, as you can see, doing that doesn't necessarily restore the whole sky for us and it, it certainly doesn't give us a dramatic feel. Instead, we're going to create two separate exposures, one with a dramatic sky and one with nicely balanced shadows. The benefit of having two separate exposures, one for the sky and one for the foreground, is that later on in Lightroom it gives us greater control over each of those areas and I'll show you what I mean later. So to begin with, I'm just going to press default so we can start with our default image. Next, to give us that dramatic sky, I'm going to bring the exposure down significantly. And then I'm going to bring the highlights down as well. And you can see we're starting to get a much more dramatic sky. The foreground, however, is still a little bit dark. Now usually, when we take our image into Photoshop from Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw, we just click on Open Image. But here, I'm going to hold down Shift instead, and you'll see this changes to Open Object. So now I just click on that, and the image is going to open up as a smart object, which means that we can go back into Adobe Camera Raw whenever we wish. So now I'm going to duplicate this background layer by holding Ctrl and J or Command and J on a Mac. I'm going to right click on the bottom layer and choose Rasterize Layer. And now I'm going to double click on the thumbnail of the top layer so that we can go back into Adobe Camera Raw. Then I'm going to press default so that we can go back to our default settings. And now I'm going to bring up the shadows so that we have no underexposed areas. If I'm happy with that, I just press OK. We now have two exposures in Photoshop, one which is ideal for the foreground and another one which is great for the sky. If you don't think you're going to make any more changes to this top layer, in Adobe Camera Raw, just right click and choose Rasterize Layer. Now we're going to digitally blend these exposures. But first I'm going to bring the brighter exposure and just put it on the bottom there and select the darker exposure. This is a quick note to Raya Pro users, we can instantly blend these exposures in the panel by going to Digital Blending and just choosing Rapid Blend If Dark. And just like that, we've naturally blended our exposures, giving our image some nicely controlled highlights and shadows. Now for non-Raya Pro users, let me show you how to blend these exposures. All we need to do is double click on the top exposure, go to Blend If Grey, and you'll see this thing that says Underlying Layer. All we need to do, if we move this about, we can see the image changes slightly. To blend the exposures, we need to hold down Ctrl and Alt or Command and Option on a Mac, and left click on the right side of this arrow and now we can bring it all the way along to the right and just press OK and you'll see that has instantly blended the exposures for us and I call this the rapid blend if technique and it can be very powerful especially in night cityscapes and golden hour shots as well as I mentioned earlier there's another benefit to using two exposures from Adobe Camera Raw rather than just one we can make changes to each of these exposures without affecting the other exposure too much. So if we want to add more drama to our sky, we can open up a levels layer, right click on this layer and choose create clipping mask so that it only affects the layer below and then we can just bring up the highlights slightly and bring the midtones along just to give it a bit more drama. And you can see that those changes are targeted specifically towards the sky without affecting the darker parts of our image. And that's it. That's one method of quickly and easily digitally blending a single exposure in Photoshop. In future tutorials, we can look at alternative methods of achieving a similar effect. If you found this tutorial useful, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get more tutorials when I publish them.